everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game, Tiny Space Academy. I am so excited to bring this to you guys. I've been looking at this for a little while now, uh, for about two or three months. I've been keeping an eye on it on Steam, uh, and I think this is a gem that's flown under the radar for sure. Um, it is currently priced at about $8.99 at Early Access. It has been released, so you can now pick this up if you wish. Uh, and there's a lot to it. It's going to be uh, pretty good fun. Now, quite a lot of you asked me to play Kerbal Space Program on the channel, and the reason why I don't play Kerbal Space Program is because I'm absolutely naff at it. Now, basically, that is what this is, but in 2D. So, the Tiny Space Academy is a 2D space sim where you can grow your own space agency and explore the solar system. The rockets you design, you'll face the constant challenges getting your little astronauts into space. There are more than 70 different rocket components to unlock, create custom rockets, you can play the campaign and balance the cost of each rocket or play sandbox and have good fun with the gravity mechanics and the solar system to explore. Okay, so there's over 70 components. There is so much stuff actually, guys. Uh, land on multiple planets. We can actually land on the planets and do science and stuff, uh, which is really cool. We can explore planet surfaces. We can EVA. Uh, we can collect rock samples, run scientific experiments. Uh, be careful you jump. Some planets have deep crevices. Learn basic orbital mechanics. Yeah, so there's a lot to this. Now, I haven't played very much of this. I've only played about 10 minutes, and I just wanted to record. So basically, all I've done is the tutorial. Uh, just how, it just basically goes through on how to put a simple rocket in the air, basically. And that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to start a new game. We're going to be doing the campaign mode. Uh, game name, we'll just put inside A. There we go. Uh, we won't put the tutorial on. We're literally just going to start. Okay, New Space Academy. Hello, Explorer. You have been selected to direct our New Space Academy. You will be in charge of exploring our solar system and making new discoveries. I am the mission coordinator. Come see me when you need a mission or additional info about the current mission. Okay, so here we go. Here is our world. Here is our little space platform. Um, so what we can do, we've got quite a few options. Let's just go through them all, and we're going to start here. Okay, you've got our rock collection. We've got our missions, research and engineering, achievements, solar system, active rockets, assembly, quick save, and menu. So if we go into the solar system, there we go. It is a full solar system that we can go and explore. And even the planets seem to have their own moons as well. So there's going to be loads for us to do. This is going to be one long series, hopefully. Now, Kill Space Quake Brown, I was terrible with the flight mechanics and the orbital mechanics. It is pretty difficult with this, actually. Um, one thing I have found, but at the same time, you know, it's a bit of fun and a little bit easier. Oh, look, it's even got orbits of asteroids. How cool is that? I didn't even notice that earlier. Okay, so if we keep going through here, uh, we've got $2,000 to start with. We've got no science, no rock collections. Uh, we can click on the planets by looks of it, and it's going to give us some information. Is, is that the case? Okay, we can scroll down. Okay, Earth. While Earth is only the fifth largest planet in the solar system, Earth is the biggest of the four planets closest to the sun, all of which are made of rock and metal. The atmosphere is made up of mostly nitrogen and oxygen, of course. Um, so obviously, you know, if we go down, we can click on uh, Mars. There we go. Uh, it's going to show us where Mars is. Oh, wow. This is so cool. There's so much to this. Will we ever get the Pluto, I wonder? Okay, let's go back to our active rockets. I don't know why I clicked on that one. Uh, let's go back to assembly. And here we are. So on this side, we've got our assembly. With the parts that we got, we've got some very, very basic parts at the moment. <clears throat> so we don't have a lot really. So let's have a look at our first mission. Launch crew capsule into space, return to Earth with astronaut and land safely. Okay, I think we can do that. So let's click on the module. Here it is, it's very small at the moment. We can zoom in and out and move up and down, I believe. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this is actually going to need a parachute. What's that? Beam, beam, beam. Here we go, there's a the parachute. Throw the parachute on the top there. And so it kind of helps you. Um, so look, it, we, we're going to want, of course, a decoupler. Probably a small one will fit there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and then we're probably going to want some fuel tanks. There we go. One fuel tank. Uh, I think that'll pretty much get us into space. Uh, and engines, of course. There we go. We're going to put the one big booster engine on the bottom. If we click on the actual thing itself. Here we go. So if we press launch... So we're in launch mode now, so we can zoom out from the Earth planet. Uh, it's just so cool. Everything is just so cool. I want to get a couple of screenshots to share this for you guys. There you go. So our first rocket, so it's going to be shift and control just for thrust. Um, so if we just put the thrust on, we should take off. And you're going to see it will create our line for our axes and stuff. So later on when we want to orbit, this is what we're going to go through. But we're literally just burning this straight into the sky. I waste its fuel. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to spin her around. 
I'm going to press space to decouple. And we're going to just nudge it down. And there we have it. How cool is that? Our little people are going to go back to Earth. Very, very slowly. We are coming, actually. We're coming a lot faster than you think we are. Do we see any flames? Do we burn back up in the atmosphere? Well, no. So we definitely need that parachute. That was a bit of luck. And here we come landing back at Earth. There we go. Perfect. First mission complete. You've successfully launched an astronaut to space. This is the first of many milestones of, for mankind. Okay, go give us a little bit of stuff. We've got some money back there as well. Perfect. Hello, I'm in charge of research and engineering. Come see me when you get a moment. We have some exciting new rocket components you might want to see. Okay. So look, let's go into our research then. Let's have a look what we can get. Uh, small drone control. Oh, okay. Cost 130 research. Interesting. Oh, okay. So that would give us RCS. Batteries. Okay, I think we probably want that first. 45. How about we research that? Okay, satellite orbiter. Oh, bloody hell, we've got an orbit now. Launch an unmanned satellite into space. Complete two orbits around Earth. Use a small science module while in orbit. Okay, so we've got quite a lot to build here. So we're going to start with the drone control. That's what this little thing is here. That is our drone control. Um, oh, I've already forgotten what we actually need. Okay, so what have we got here? That's a small battery. Let's put a small battery on her. Uh, she wanted a small science module. Yep, so let, let's throw that back onto it. Okay, that's going to cost me an extra 50 quid. Okay, we're going to leave that for a second. Um, this thing is going to need some power, so let's put a uh, solar power on it. Okay, nice. I have a feeling that it's probably going to want a little bit of fuel um, once we get up there. So how about we put a decoupler here. Uh, let's have a look at fuel tanks. Oh, that's ridiculous. Extra small. That is the smallest fuel tank. I think one will be enough. Uh, we only need to get a small orbit around the Earth. Uh, fingers crossed. Okay. Um, that's drone control. Decouplers and fairings. Oh, it needs an engine. So we do have an extra small engine. We're going to throw that on there. Lovely. Uh, let's get another decoupler on there. Uh, and then we want a fuel tank. It's not like we're stupid, but we want a big one here, don't we? And engine-wise, again, uh, let's put the big one on here. Oh, just need to move the whole thing. And you just put it above the assembly. So there we go. It's got a ridiculous-looking rocket here, guys. I do apologize, but that's what we have to play with. Okay, I think we're good to launch. What do you think? Okay, I'm just going to get it to start pointing one way a little bit more. And you can see our periapsis. That's fine. Okay, let's decouple that one. And we want this one to go sideways. We want to try and make an orbit. We're not making a great orbit here, guys. But it's an orbit. It's not going to be enough. I think we're facing down too much. Oh, we were always facing down, of course. That's not a bad orbit, in all fairness. I thought it was going to go a lot worse than it was. Okay. We do have a first go round. Nice. And we want to go down to rocket controls here and display our sonar panel. Here we go. Here it comes. And that's now going to start charging this. And that's what we want it to do because we want to activate the module. We need 1.25 power, so not quite there yet. And this is now going to float around space. And that's cool. We have our first satellite. Okay, we can now do our first bit of science. It's going to take 60 seconds. 
And uh, what we can do in the meantime, if we just come back out. So yeah, it's very fiddly actually that bit, but it's a lot easier than Kerbal. Okay, so look, let's just speed up our time because we need to make two orbits. We've used the power module. That's fine. We still probably have to do one more. There we have it. Mission complete. Uh, so satellite orbiter from the Earth. Okay, we've got some money on board. Nice. Okay, so I do believe every time that we're charged up, we can just keep doing the um, science. Not 100%, but I, that's what I believe. Oh, hang on. Cell research. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, let's go back to assembly then. Launch crew capsule into space. Complete two orbits around the Earth with crew capsule. Return to Earth with astronaut and land safely. Oof. Okay. Let's get our command module out. And uh, we're definitely going to want a parachute for them. I am sure. If I go around, do I get more science for doing... Sp uh, let's not worry about the science. Let's just worry about the mission. Okay, so... This is going to need its own decoupler and fairing. Okay, we can go for a bit of a larger one here. Nice. Uh, it's going to want its own fuel tank. I'm going to assume that this is going to be more than enough for us. Little poodle engine on it. Uh, another coupler. Nice. It covers that up nicely. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to want another fuel tank to get this off the ground. Hopefully that's going to give us enough power. Hopefully this is going to be enough otherwise. It's going to cost us... It doesn't say the price actually. So launch crew. So that will definitely get us up. Hopefully that will get us around to two orbits and then bring them back. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be okay. What do you think guys? I, I think it's going to be okay. Mm, that is decoupler there, isn't it? Okay. Screw it. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to come out here. Let's uh, good for go. Uh, she is not burning very well. Oh wow! The other engine is just not powerful enough to get us out. Uh, it's all gone wrong. Okay, let's reset it, because we clearly don't have enough. Okay, so what I think all we really need is one fuel. What do you think? Okay, let's uh, go for launch again. Up to full power. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. It is now too heavy for that engine. Okay, uh, if we just put another fuel tank here. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I think we have enough fuel now to bring us back. So it needs to do a complete one orbit. <laughs> it's only just going to do. We're very close to the atmosphere.
Bugger. Oh. It completed it. It was just enough. Okay, let's uh, detach this one. Let's knock it off. There we go. You're going to go back into Earth a little bit faster than we are. And yeah, that's just worked out just great. What do you think, guys? It's literally just, just enough. I love the way you get the music when you get a bit closer to. The only thing is you don't see... We can see our velocity, but I can't see our height. That's the only thing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a bit of luck. Okay, that has opened up for us. Mission complete. Okay, you successfully launched an astronaut into the stable orbit and recovered the capsule. Not losing astronauts is our first priority. Yeah, we, that's good. Let's recover that then. Uh, let's go back to this. So the next one is complete two orbits around the Earth with crew. Use medium science module while in orbit. Return to Earth with astronaut and land safely. Uh, now, does that mean I have to bring the science module back with me, I wonder? There's no heat plates. Okay, what we're going to do quickly is uh, we are going to go into our research. Let's have a look here. What can we research? What might be handy? Uh, small L fuel tank could be pretty handy. Bigger engine though, cost at a hundred. Fairly research. First generation vacuum engine is inexpensive and can carry small payloads deep into space. This engine performs best while in space or a vacuum. Ooh, that is the only problem with that one. Bearings, what have we got here? Side decoupler. Oh, you can put two separate rockets. Okay, that might be. That might be worth getting. Uh, accessories. Escape tower, that's pretty cool. Docking port, nice. Reaction wheels, cups. Small landing legs, actually, that could be pretty handy. Uh, oh, this is a tough one. I think we have to go for these engines. Okay, cost of 150, research 110, not good. So have 30 research, what can we do for 30 research? We're best using this. I think that just looks cool, so probably a waste of research points okay guys so there we go there is episode number one of the tiny space academy um hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh i will be doing many many more episodes um this is something that i'm really really enjoying not very good at as you can see but i think that makes half the fun um so we're gonna get some more rockets in the air for the next episode we're going to do the next uh couple of missions and uh, i'll try and keep these to about 20 minutes without editing too much i think it's best not to edit too much good for you to see the mistakes um and you might learn from them definitely highly recommend this game it is real good fun i uh, can't wait to start exploring the more of the solar system let's see if we can make rockets that can go to the solar system um if you are enjoying this content please do subscribe down below to the channel hit the bell icon for notifications upload every single day i'd love myself guys thanks for watching and i'll definitely see you next time bye for now